two high-tech and strikingly similar flying machines, the likes of which the world has never seen before. They're being developed on the opposite side of the Atlantic. In this video, we will explore Vertical Aerospace VX4 and the Archer Midnight to see, among these seemingly similar aircraft, which one has the better technology, which one has the stronger strategy, and which one will reach the market first. It's quite natural to compare the VX4 and the Midnight. After all, both can carry four passengers plus a pilot, which is roughly a 450 kilogram payload. Both feature lifting and tilting propellers. Both sport a V-tail and both cruise at 150 miles per hour. Interestingly, both of them also use scimitar shaped blades on their five bladed tilt rotors to reduce tip vortices and noise. At first glance, it almost looks like they came from the same design template. Looking back, we find that the VX4 design was revealed in June 2021. Around the same time, Archer unveiled its own eVTOL, the Maker, which was a smaller two-seat aircraft designed more for leisure than as an air taxi. After proving its technology with the Maker, Archer introduced the Midnight on November 2022 which more closely matched the VX4's specifications. Both the aircraft borrow inspiration from earlier eVTOL concepts. The Joby S2, revealed in 2014, influenced their overall configuration, while the lift-only rotors resemble those on WISC's Cora, which first flew in March 2018. Now, let's explore the differences. The Midnight has 12 propellers compared to the VX4's 8. Six of the Midnight's propellers are lift-only that shut down during cruise. The other six tilt to provide vertical lift and forward thrust. The Midnight uses shorter propellers of 1.9 meters and has a maximum takeoff weight of 3,175 kilograms. By contrast, the VX4's propellers are larger at 2.9 meters each. Despite having fewer rotors, this gives it a greater total disk area compared to the Midnight. The VX4 has a maximum takeoff weight of 2,948 kilograms, which is 227 kilograms lighter than the Midnight, and this in turn results in much lower disk loading. The disk loading is an important parameter that directly affects the power requirement. The higher its value is, the more power is needed to generate lift during the vertical phase of the flight. Based on momentum theory, the Midnight requires about 608 kilowatts of power to take off, while the VX4 needs only 437 kilowatts of power thanks to its larger rotor area and lower weight. This difference impacts the range and mission profile. The Midnight can fly up to 100 miles but is optimized for short urban hops of 20 to 50 miles. The VX4, meanwhile, is aimed at longer intercity missions of up to 100 miles with plans for a hybrid variant capable of 1000 miles. On a separate note, if you are interested in learning CFD, especially for aerospace, check out AirShaper. It's an online CFD tool. This isn't a sponsored mention, but I did use their Archer Midnight model for some of the calculations presented herein, so they deserve a shout out. Find the link in the description. Coming back to our comparison, in terms of progress, the Midnight appears ahead. It recently completed a 55-mile piloted flight, while the VX4 flew a 17-mile piloted test flight in May 2025. Both flights used conventional takeoff. Both companies have strong industry partnership. Common suppliers include Honeywell for avionics, GKN Aerospace for airframe, and MolyCell for batteries. MolyCell is also developing silicon anode batteries tailored for eVTOLs, which could benefit both the VX4 and Midnight in the future. Funding is another area where Archer leads. It has raised about $2.7 billion compared to Vertical Aerospace's 400 to 500 million since 2021. Patent portfolios also play a role and both Archer and Vertical Aerospace have multiple approved patents. One particularly clever VX4 patent places motor heat exchanger in the airflow path of the tilt rotors, thus reducing the need for heavy and complex cooling systems. Flight testing tells a similar story. 
the midnight is steadily progressing while the VX4 did face a setback in the past. A tethered VX4 prototype test ended in a crash when a pylon failed. Fortunately, the incident happened early enough in the program for Vertical to redesign and strengthen its structure. On the production front, Archer is already building aircraft. Its factory is operational, targeting two aircraft by the year end. It has already achieved Part 135, Part 145, 141 and 142 certifications. Once it gets full certification, which it plans by 2026, it will scale to 650 aircraft per year. Vertical Aerospace, meanwhile, aims to be production ready by 2030. So the verdict? In the short game, Archer Midnight is winning, real flights, real approval and real factory. But Vertical VX4 is playing the long game, banking on aerospace standards, a tier one supply chain and scalable hybrid ready technology. And with this, the video is concluded. The video is part of a series where we will compare similar aircraft. If you wish to see more of these, then please let us know in the comment section. Thank you for your attention.